Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Salvation League. We're back with another video, guys. And today, man, we're back at it again with some Modern Warfare. As always, get used to that around here. And today, man, we're talking about the six tips, the six secrets to make you a god on Modern Warfare. And <laughs> man, like, I, I don't love overselling things, but I do think these tips are going to make you a lot better. We'll see if they make you a god. That's to be determined. But they're going to make you a lot better at Modern Warfare. So that's what we're working with today. First of all, in our last video, we talked about the pro player secrets to have no recoil, which obviously to have no recoil would be pretty nice, okay? So if you're hoping to improve your gun skill, just go check that one out. I think it was a pretty solid video. I am a little biased, but I think it can help you out a lot if you're trying to look for that type of improvement. But with that said, let's get right into it. The first few tips are going to be pretty simple, a little bit more straightforward, and we're going to get into the more advanced tips as we go along, of course. So where we're starting off with Modern Warfare, this is a very specific Modern Warfare tip. This is to get used to that range finder at the top of the screen. For me, it's taken a long time to get adjusted to this rangefinder. I've played for a lot of hours already, and I'm still not used to it. My mind is so set in the gunfire on the minimap mechanics from past Call of Duties. I'm still not used to this, but it's so, so important, especially early in the game before teams get UAVs, because that's when you can start seeing things on the radar finally. But it's so important to get used to that rangefinder at the top of the screen. Start using that to your advantage, because the enemy gunfire does pop up on there. So it gives you a good direction of where the gunfights might be coming from, along with the audio, obviously. So that's been something I've really gone in each game, really trying to focus on to improve, is to use this rangefinder to my advantage, because I know a lot of guys aren't doing that right now. It definitely does give you a leg up. So the next tip is more of a basic Call of Duty tip, something that is just so important to every Call of Duty. I'm sure many of you guys use this pretty well, or may not even know that you use it well, but it's to have like an ultimate awareness of the minimap and your teammates' positioning. So obviously those two things, provides so much insight and intel for you as a Call of Duty player. So generally how that works is where your teammates are, the enemies aren't. And where your enemies are, the teammates aren't. Be aware of what angles your teammates are already watching on the minimap because you don't need to watch an angle that your teammate is currently watching in most situations, especially when you're housed up in a building or in a power position. And so just be very aware of that in your teammates positioning. If you're trying to improve your KD, you're trying to improve your stats a little bit and look a little better on the leaderboards for the boys, you know, you can bait your teammates and position yourself in those buildings or in those positions where they're going to be the ones that are shot first. You can come in and clean up the mess. Obviously, that may not always be the best way to win as a squad, but as an individual, that is that is a way to improve your stats, whether or not it actually improves you as a player. The positioning is just so important, and I think you're going to get more and more comfortable with it the more you pay attention to it. And when you're really putting a lot of thought towards that, it becomes more obvious and simpler to adjust to. So to keep that in mind as you keep playing. So the next thing is, I'm sure you guys are figuring this one out slowly but surely too, is the importance importance of patient play and tactically waiting some might call it camping but I don't think it's camping I don't think it really qualifies as camping because it's more of a tactical wait than it is a camp where you're just sitting in the same spot or sitting in a corner it's a lot different than that using the audio to your advantage in this game is crucial I mean it's a little frustrating as players who want to play fast as a guy who I mean I really did enjoy Black Ops 4 so as a guy who enjoyed Black Ops 4 it's really frustrating not have this dead silence and I can't just run through these buildings willy-nilly because I'm going to die if I do that right now you have to play tactically you know you run from door to door from spot to spot and you just really hawk on those most important lines of sight you control those certain areas that's where you're gonna dominate so speaking of dominant positions we're gonna talk about how you utilize the dominant positions and how you work inside those dominant positions on these maps to really dominate in the game itself to dominate inside of domination nah, 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 nah. we ain't doing that but to really dominate inside the game itself you have to utilize the power positions on these maps which infinity ward has talked about so many times how it's so important to have these power positions but at the end of the day when you're inside these power positions let's say you just got to kill out the window now you have to go check the staircase you just gave away your position you have to be aware of your position know that okay well i just gave away my position someone might come from behind me and this is where being aware of your teammates positioning and you're in the minimap awareness as well can come to your advantage because maybe you don't have to go check it because your teammate is behind you maybe the teammate's not even trying to watch your flank but it just so happens that teammate is watching your flank and so you don't have to go check it but that's just the awareness coming into play the relocation inside of the dominant positions is so fun and so interesting when it comes to dominating a game you guys are seeing in this gameplay here i keep killing the same guy and so he keeps on trying to chase me because he knows that i'm in this area the dominant area but he doesn't exactly know where and i keep changing up my positioning so that when he comes in he doesn't know where to look it's annoying it's it's tactical it's campy but modern warfare is kind of playing in that way right now and when it comes to how you're gonna play these games you're gonna have to get used to that if you want to be really really dominant in this game and go on those big time streaks this is how you're going to do it is utilize those power positions and relocate yourself be aware of the mini map and really understand those spawns 
speaking of spawns look at these transitions man these are these are high quality but speaking of spawns kill counting is so so important this is the competitive call of duty thing that way more pubs players and casual players need to do as well so when it comes to kill counting this is generally like a thing for hard point or respawn game modes in competitive call of duty so let's say you're playing domination and you're pushing their spawn you get three kills all right so now you counted kill one you counted kill two you counted kill three that means there's gonna be three more guys spawning in the back of the spawn so you have to be aware of who's up and who's not and you have to be aware of the kill feed because let's say you get three kills and then your teammates kill two more now there's five guys spawning up so you know that there's gonna be five guys spawning up where, where near where you're sitting right now and so you got to back up play a little bit more patiently and let them come to you if you want to keep your streak alive if you're not aware of that you're gonna push up there and be like oh i gotta capitalize i gotta capitalize i'm gonna run into spawn i'm gonna get more kills but you didn't realize that there's five guys spawning up now you're gonna die and you're gonna lose your streak so you have to be very aware of that and be aware of counting kills inside the game whether it's yours or whether it's your teammates to really really dominate and go on these streaks and it really does help you keep track of spawns and keep track of where guys are coming from if you keep track of the kills itself so the final tip to make you a god in modern warfare is how to bust head glitches because in this game if you haven't noticed head glitches are nasty but so are headshots and that's I think kind of a balanced thing they added into the game to make sure these headies that they added in weren't as dominant as they already are when it comes to head glitches there's two things that are important about head glitches you have to either predict that they're there or you have to know that they're there on those head glitches to really have a chance to bust the head glitch so there's two ways to go about this to get that information either using calls from your teammates or you spot them yourself and the best way to spot them yourself is to shoulder peek things and be very weird you jiggle around corners with your shoulders it baits them into shooting now that you know there's a guy in the head glitch okay so when it comes to the head glitches there's a few ways to deal with it there's two ways to get around corners quick to give you a shot on these headies one is to double spin around corners and jump that gives you a shot to, to bust that heady the other is to slide around the corners and give you a shot to bust the heady so, so when it comes to actually aiming down sights on headies when somebody pops up onto a heady let's say you're aiming down sights on a heady and somebody pops up at the heady you want to strafe towards the cover so as you guys are seeing right here if there's a guy on this heady i need to strafe to my right so that he has to come out to shoot me now because if i strafe to my left he can just stay behind the cover back up to his left and it's an easy kill because he's staying in that cover the whole time but for me i'm in the open so i have to utilize his cover to his disadvantage by strafing towards the cover so he has to come out to maintain that angle i think that's something that a lot of younger players just don't get or don't understand when you start doing that you're gonna get a lot better at this game and a lot better at beaming guys off of headies when you pack his double sprinting and jump shotting sliding and strafing towards cover to kill guys off headies you're gonna be a lot more effective and a lot better so overall guys those were all the tips to help you become a god at modern warfare there's gonna be a lot more tips videos coming and on a different note i'm trying to feature you guys in these videos so tweet me any clips that you think are worthy of being in a video any solid clips it could be competitive it could be pubs it could be funny it could be insane tweet me those clips and i'll be featuring you guys in these videos with your fire clips so make sure to tweet me salvation's elite on twitter i'll feature you guys in the video so with that said guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did like comment, and subscribe share the video if you guys really enjoyed it i really appreciate it i hope you guys found something useful in this video and took something away from it but as always guys i'm your boy salvation's elite and we'll see you next time i'm out